All right, I'm back, and now I'm continuing the Rise of the Empire campaign for Star Wars Battlefront 2 with part 10, I think it is. Yeah, part 10. Camino, changing the guard. So enough talk for me, let's begin. So, the Kaminians have, have turned against the Empire and are using our own brothers against us. Lord Vader has hired a special mercenary to lead us in this difficult battle. He has unique knowledge and of the cloning chambers and will be invaluable during the siege. Okay? Just trying to start a foot. Officially, there never was a clone rebellion on Kamino. Unofficially, approximately 20 years after we were created, a special detachment of the Imperial 501st Legion was dispatched to Kamino with orders to eradicate an army of clones that had been bred to take arms against the Empire. Our mission commander, an expert on the inner workings of Kamino, was a young bounty hunter named Boba Fett. Oh, Boba Fett! So, playing as right now. Boba Fett on the job. Boba Fett has been chosen to lead a small task force into the Camino Cloning Center. His familiarity with the center's layout and access codes should give us the element of surprise. Alright. Alright, so I have to destroy this thing right here. DNA samples from our evil brothers. Alright, I don't know why, but... They're dropping like flies. Take out these turrets. That didn't work. That's better. I got some ammo. Plug the DNA sample. Get that sample back to ship immediately. All right. Alright, okay, he's alright. I can't use my jetpack because this DNA sample. Oh! Sorry, I thought you were in here. This DNA sample to my right, Bob Fett's right hip is somehow too heavy for him to use jetpack. I'm not gonna lie to you, that makes no sense. Lightsaber is my health um, counter. DNA sample secure. Pulling ship back to a safe distance. Good job. Now take that CP and await further orders. All right. So now to get to that center platform, over the yellow arrows, get just my jetpack. So let's do this. Da 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 Mate, the Chancellor's now Emperor Palpatine, the bad guy. No, my command post. Oh, ah, ooh. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Ting, tang, follow bing, bang. Go. You know your objectives. Destroy the computers keeping the Kaminoans clone pods alive before they can create any more traitorous anti-troopers. Alright. So now I have to go in here and destroy the life support pods before they can create any more anti-troopers. Which I actually think 
in my opinion, are much cooler than the original Clone Troopers. Alright, now I'm using a new kind of anti-trooper. One that wears blue armor. Thank good. This must be quick. Like ammo. Lightsabers count down my health. So when it reaches bottom, Boba Fett's throwing the Black Parade. There we go. Alright, now the Kaminoans, the aliens that created the clones originally, are trying to evacuate. Wait and let that happen. I'm gonna show you all what the Empire does with traitors. Guys, this ain't good. Thank you, Dyson. After this video lasts than 15 minutes. Ball fit, he turns up. A uh, shock trooper, got my rocket launcher, lock on, oven fire. Almost done. Yippee ki yay! something about tracking down a smuggler on Tatooine. After the Kamino uprising, the Emperor decided that an army of genetically identical soldiers was too susceptible to corruption. Future troopers would be cloned from a variety of templates. Though the 501st itself remained pure, the rest of the Imperial Army gradually became more and more diverse. We never really got used to the new guys. Alright, hey guys, I'm Andy Shepard, and that was Part 10 of the Rise of the Empire campaign. I scored 
163 points. I got 53 kills, one death, one flag captured. Wait, wrong button. My favorite class was Boba Fett, and his weapon was the EE3 blaster rifle. My enemy was Gamma 022, and my bait was Theta 198. All right, so I hope you like that. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, support my channel, and as always, may the force be with you. Thanks for watching.